Hey everyone, I'm so excited. Today I am going to go get Sculptra. I'm gonna take you along with me. I wanted to show you the before and I'm gonna do check-ins while I do it. And I will get Nurse Chelsea to explain everything. I'm hoping that I can have some fullness back in here. I'm hoping that I can have some fullness back in here. And I'm hoping that I can have fullness back in my temple. The reality stars that we typically think of as overdone, I think that trend is falling off. People might be stuck in, I have to do this over and over again, but there's starting to be a spotlight on these biostimulatory agents, as well as tr like tightening treatment modalities. You know, we're talking about doing dermal fillers yeah. here. Yeah, absolutely, you could replace that with sculpture. We're talking about rejuvenation of the mid face or pan facial we call it um, absolutely we're putting sculpture in this area up until here into the marionette lines everywhere that we want the tissue to grow back because it's falling we can pretty much get done with sculpture sculpture is a biostimulant injectable but it's a fluid so we inject the liquid but in the first couple of days it's actually going to reabsorb all that water and then your skin's going to be left with just the sculpture crystals inside of it and then those crystals are going to be what help your tissue thicken back up again biostimulant are more about rejuvenating, replenishing what you right. kind of already had. Is it just one treatment or do you have to do multiple? Multiple treatments. So because we're dealing with our own DNA, our DNA needs to be signaled several times in order to get it to do something at a level that we can see on the outside. Even one treatment will have the signals on the inside, but you need multiple in order to see this, like the symptom or the look on the outside. Generally, any biostimulant needs to be repeated or anything where we're asking the body to do its own work. We need to keep telling the body what to do. And so how often would I have to come back and get it done? For this particular one, we're going to talk about three sessions, one month apart. One month okay. is a really good cycle for our skin and our tissue to have some turnover and make some changes. And then at the end of that 30 days, we want to reignite the signal again. That's how we get the best results. So we can really do this in a lot of areas of the body. The most popular are the face and the neck, the butt as well. That's where we get those kind of butt lifts. Yeah. So depending on the area, it takes a different volume. For the face, we use two vials so that we get a nice result and each vial is 750 so we're looking at $1,500 per treatment. The difference is that dermal fillers will start to be reabsorbed right away like as soon as they're injected you get you know such and such time out of it. The sculpture lasts a long time so once you get to the point of really liking your results and you're really happy you can get two years or more out of the results. And if you just think about the other things that you're offsetting, the fact that you're not adding too much volume in areas that you never had volume before, so you're going to look like yourself. And also consider sculpture as preventative. The best results that come from neuromodulators are from being preventative, right? Using it early on. I think you're a perfect example of that. Yeah. Right? Like I know um, other women your age likely look at you and go, wow, she looks extremely young for her age. It's all about the preventative. The sculpture is preventative as well. So this, the more lax the skin gets into your 50s, 60s, 70s, sculpture can only retract it so much. So if you start early, then you're keeping it retracted. So consider that really preventative. It is a big, it's an investment as well as it is like a great result, you know, coming the next six months. And as you're smiling, like I'm watching you animate, the lines that you get all the way down here, they're really difficult to treat. As soon as I see those, I think sculpture because you know, neuromodulators are going to help you in this muscle. Yeah. Tear drop filler, maybe cheek filler is going to help somewhat, but when you start getting the lines all the way, that means that the tissue is really folding in all the spots. It's not just the volume underneath, but the skin itself is folding in. And so you just want to... I like that, that that's idea. That's really the nicest uh, result you're going to have for basically our drape that is our skin. It's not going to look like crazy swelling or anything like that. Most people really like it when they leave and they want it to stay, but then that volume goes away. So there's really no downtime. You'll always have the possibility of bruising, even with a cannula, but very easy to hide. And so poke. First, I'm going to go up into the temple. Is there freezing in it? Yes. Okay. There is freezing in it, although it's not necessary in all the areas, but we do put it in. Okay. So I'm going into the cheek area now. You doing okay? Yep. You don't feel anything? I'm a little pinched there, but it's fine. Okay. Some people kind of feel it a little bit in here. Mm -hmm. You're gentle, I find. Good, I hope so. This is the punisher for these lines. Yay. Or, yeah, I can feel that one a little yeah. bit. So that's when you're releasing it is when I feel yeah, that? Yeah, that's the pressure yeah. you're feeling. 
And then also the lidocaine itself can burn a bit until it uh, does its job. So now I'm just gonna mush it around a little bit. We'll do a massage at the end, but just see how like the volume can actually look nice. Yeah. You see that? After the cannula, can you wear makeup or? Yeah. So this is the only hole I made. Okay. So like that would be the only spot you'd be worried about getting bacteria in and after okay. four hours it closes. Okay. So you don't have to worry about anything here because the cannula is under the skin. I feel like if people do this, like facelifts aren't, they're gonna go out. They're gonna go out of style. They still have their. Because everybody ages differently, right? Like, right. Like some people sculpture can't keep up because they're very saggy. Like that's just genetics being mean. Um, like, mean. Yeah. Mean <laughs> genetics. Mean genetics. <laughs> so, like look at like smile again. Like just see how that. Yeah. Like that you can't crinkle there right now. Now that's the goal of it later. But right. initially you get that too. Cool. You are gonna have a little poke here. Just brace yourself. I make another hole here and I'm gonna do some this way because okay. this line like that's yeah I'd like to attack that yeah I'd like you to attack that too <laughs> do you find some people's pain tolerance is much more sensitive pain than pain tolerance is very different most people are good like you mm -hmm. like they're wrapped their head around the fact that they're going in for a treatment and yeah people need it just a bit more and then there's other people who start really really sensitive and every time they come they get a better endurance I just know the end result is gonna be amazing that's right so. It's, a, it's all about thinking about the end yeah massage that all out after okay but just to show you like how much we got there how much we got here and here like we really spread it everywhere and we did boluses i went even into the hairlines lots of injections you did we'll do right into the hairline yeah so that you can get this kind why of why didn't i notice i'm a pro, yeah, you're a pro. <laughs> and to be clear these are crystals that so yeah it's a p-l-l-a it's a big long chemical word we suspend it and we kind of want the other stuff to fall off of it that's why we reconstitute it with the normal saline and then we're left with the sculpture PLLA. Volume all gets absorbed by your body, the liquid, and then you're left with the PLLA in your skin. And the PLLA talks to your fibroblasts to help to get, the, get you building collagen on overdrive. And then that has a cascade of events as well that just thickens your tissue up. Science is a wonderful thing. It is so cool. You know, fun fact, Sculpture was actually originally created for HIV AIDS patients. Oh. Who had very emaciated, concave looking areas of their face and they wanted to know how could they help these people get their tissue back really so that's actually how it was created and then we were like hey this could we, work for can everybody we use this in cosmetics? <laughs> yeah it looks way more invasive than it actually feels yeah. there's no topical numbing but there is the lidocaine that goes yeah. inside your hair looks really nice today by Thank the way you. take a breath there you go <laughs> <laughs> in your nose yeah okay so again we want to punish these lines okay. so i'm gonna go in here whatever is actually swelling might take a couple days and it goes down with the, the massage goes down with your body absorbing. okay massage can help as well because you're pushing fluid out right no we want to go up as close to here as possible i have a question mm -hmm. um when these start kind of hollowing out there like, will this kind of pull that back a this, little bit? This will be helpful for filling the whole, like for making this t all this tissue thick enough. Okay. So I've gone so in here too. Is that why this kind of sinks in a little bit? Or that comes... sinks in two reasons. One, there's a muscle pulling it down. Yeah. Two, gravity is pulling the tissue down. Okay. As well as loss of volume and thickness. Okay. Of the skin. So this may help exactly. that. Exactly. So you're going to get the thickness of your skin back. So when it's thickened up, it's not going to set, it's going to keep, it's going to want to go up. Yay. And a massage after. Okay, so the pressure that you feel here, mm -hmm. that's what I want you to do. Okay. All the areas, the further you can spread it, spread this, the further you're gonna have results. So you're just massaging five times a day for five minutes or 10 times to, for two minutes, that sort of thing. Okay. We're just massaging this sculpture as far as we can. Kind of feels good. Yeah. All this back here that we did and a little in here. Every time I see your uh, Instagram, you guys are doing something new. I know. We it's are. cool. It is now 3.30, and this is what my face looks like after. I feel like there's a little bruise right here where you can see where she poked in. I don't see any other marks. Is there maybe one right here? I can't see there. I'll look back on the video afterwards, but I'll see if there's anything there. What I'm gonna do right now is massage the areas that she treated. It's a little bit more tender right now, being 3.30, because all the lidocaine has left my face. It doesn't hurt, it just feels tender. That's the best way to describe it. 
I've been massaging my face all day. I'm gonna continue to massage this all out. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.